Okay, so where I left off in the last video, I was starting to explain how if the machine room were located in the basement, you would send the car up to the first floor um, and you would flash the hat. Now, depending on which elevator company you're working with, you're either going to be turning on just the fire hat flash relay when you do that, or you're going to be turning on primary recall to send the car to one and fire hat flash to flash the hat. That's completely dependent on the type of equipment the elevator company is using because some elevator equipment is pre-engineered to know what floor to send the car to when the when the when they receive the fire hat signal. So uh, just to keep it to keep it simple, some equipment only wants one relay to turn on at a time, and some equipment needs you to send both signals. They need you to send the you know tell it to go to the primary floor and tell it to flash the hat. And you can see how this might change. Imagine this building didn't have a basement. Imagine it only had the first floor, and then the machine room were up on that first floor. Well, in that case, when the machine room went off, you would want to send the car up to the alternate floor, most likely, assuming the machine room were right there. I mean, you might have an inspector tell you otherwise, um, because the machine room is probably a two-hour fire-rated wall, uh, you know, room, etc. But the point is, with some equipment, you're going to need to turn on both relays when the machine room goes, and with some equipment, you're only going to need to do one. And when you only can send it one relay, sometimes that affects how... The, sometimes you need a fourth recall relay in order to accomplish that, depending on where the machine room is and the alternate floor, etc. Because sometimes you have a smoke detector in the machine room, in the pit, and the shaft. And for the machine room in the pit, you'd send it maybe to the alternate floor, assuming there were no basement. But for the shaft, you would send it to the main floor and you'd flash the hat. And so then you need the two differentiating machine room hats. If that doesn't make a lot of sense right now, um, don't worry about it. I probably shouldn't even have mentioned that yet. Um, we're going to scroll down here and get into the actual relays. So it's this is all accomplished from our end pretty simply. Um, we're going to have three different relays so far, right? We're going to have the first one, which will be primary recall. This is going to be in red, but that's okay. Primary recall. Then we're going to have, but here, but here's, here's the thing. We're going to, I would label these relays primary recall, alternate recall, and fire hat flash. But when you're taking your label maker out and you're actually writing on the, module or when you're labeling the wires that are going in the controller this is how i've been labeling these the last few years i would say um something like all floors but one or flo you know and in, in some buildings it's easy because you could say something like floors two through ten or two through four you know plus basement something like that to indicate particularly when you're labeling your wires so that there's no confusion between you and the elevator guy um, so I'm just gonna call this primary recall I'll call this one alternate alternate recall and maybe in parentheses first first floor smoke um, and then this one will be fire hat flash or flashing hat whatever now we're gonna just send a bunch of wires into the controller if you're installing a new system um, I the elevator guy will have to tell you whether or not he wants a normally open wire or a normally closed wire they're definitely going to get a common, and you're going to label it common. Um, the easiest way to do it, give them three wires. If you're not sure, give them all three and label them. So they got common, normally closed, and normally open. Now, I think I've gone over these relays, but just in case I haven't, this style, the system sensor style of relay, has two sets of contacts. So you can see we have common two, normally closed two, normally open two on the top there. And then you have common one, normally closed one, and normally open ones over here on the right. Um, 
those are just two different sets of contacts. So in most cases, you'll only use the one side. So I would just repeat this. I'd use probably even the same colors because you're probably not going to have nine different colors of wire. Um, label that for them. I would label this floors two through four and basement. I would label this, you know, do the same thing. Um, label each individual wire and label, um, you know, what it does. Because, what, I mean, right, right here it's really easy to see, but once it's once these are all, um, you know, going through conduit in their equipment, you're going to have, you know, tape around the pairs. So like this, you know, this three are all taped together. Label each individual wire, common, normally closed, normally open, and label it what it does, you know, so that they know. Um, okay, so we're going to do that for all three. What color am I on here? Red. We'll keep it consistent. And then you're going to have to find out from them, like I was just saying, when my primary, re I'll send this, I'll send this question to people in emails, you know, to try to get it answered ahead of time, but it's such a simple fix that if you have to change it, even the day of the test, it's no problem. But I will ask them, when my fire hat triggers, do you want just the fire hat relay or do you want the fire hat relay and the primary or alternate, depending on the floor, to trigger. And most of the time, they're going to be confused by that question because they're, they are, they're used to working on their equipment. So they're going to be like, what are you talking about? You can't send me two relays. Or they're, going to be, or they're going to say, well, you have to send, you also have to give me the primary because if, I, if you just give me the fire hat, then how my, how's my elevator going to, you know, they're going to think you're stupid. Um, but it's because... It, you know, some equipment can only handle one signal and some equipment needs that second clue of where to go. Um, as far as what these wires do uh, once they're landed, it really doesn't matter to you. They typically tie the commons together. They won't use one of these. And so then they'll have like, let's say it's 30 volts DC or, you know, it's whatever they're sending to you. But um, they'll tie all the commons together and then they just get that signal back if they're normal op normally open you know they'll get the 30 volt volts back on this one terminal that, so usually you'll see like all your commons will be wire nutted in their panel and then they're just using that return the switch leg essentially from each side of it um, but I'm digressing a little bit here so what we care about is we're gonna address these relays right each one of these so primary I, I added them to my panel or my spreadsheet, but we're going to assume this is like a panel program, right? I don't know why I have five in there. Um, so I have relay 21, 22, 23. So we would go and add these down the line. Um, you know, this will set the address to 21, 22, 23. And how do we want to, how do we want to zone it? Well, let's see. 21 is primary recall. So 21 is when we're sending the car to the first floor. So that's when the fourth floor, third floor, second floor, or basement activates, right? And we decided that was zone 11. So if this is a firelight panel or a notifier panel, we're just going to give this zone 11. So now, when any of the, when zone 11 on the input side activates, zone 11 on the output side is going to activate, and that relay is going to change states. Elevator recall, or I'm sorry, alternate recall is going to be zone 12. And for flashing hat, this is when you need to know, am I, uh, no, I'm sorry, this one's going to be 13, right? But then, based on the building, we're going to need to know from the elevator guy, do you want two relays to fire? Because if he tells you, yeah, I need two signals from you, I need the primary to tell it where to go, and then in this building we decide, okay, well, because the machine room's in the basement, we're going to send it to the primary floor, then in this instance, that's when we'd go here and put 13 in that column as well. Oh, of course, the formatting sucks. Um, because... So the primary, when it, when is this relay going to turn on? Well, it's going to turn on for 11 or it's going to turn on for 13, right? So every time the flashing hat triggers, it's going to send the car to the first floor. 